it. I want you to pay attention to the new people. Now, the newer newer licensed loan officers that are watching this, this is going to ring true to you. I want you to understand that it's actually you <laughs> that helps the most most of these seasoned people just actually spark if they so choose because you have the enthusiasm and you have the vision still. You ha and it's and a lot of times it's because you haven't gone through the grind yet, but that's okay. We rely on you just as much as you rely on us. But at the same time, I want to give you some some pe uh, real nice piece of advice. Don't rely on the seasoned people around you to determine your negativity. Don't rely on their past experiences to determine your future is what I'm saying. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel, and I'm your host. Ready for the second upload in 2019. I got some information for you, whether you're new, whether you're seasoned, whether you're an inside or outside sales agent, this video is gonna help you generate some more business just off the little details that we may sometimes overlook and it's not our fault. We get instructions from almost every single direction, make more calls, be on the phone more, be see more realtors, set more appointments. You know, we have all these different instructions that sometimes it becomes hard to know which one to listen to and typically we'll lean towards those who are maybe of more authority or sometimes even be persuaded to follow those who we believe or perceive to be a little bit more advanced or a little bit more seasoned or a little bit more successful and sometimes those methods simply do not work because they're not compatible to your own specific style and so i'm gonna share with you some real real basic but detailed information that that hopefully gives you one of them aha moments in the early early morning of the day. And uh, so again, you're going to want to stick around whether you're inside, outside sales agent, whether you're a, a purchase loan officer or a refi loan officer, whatever it is, you could be maybe even a customer service representative working your way up to become a loan officer as I've noticed a lot of the audience is. I know a lot of you may have just recently be become licensed or and then a, a small portion of you guys have been licensed for a minute. And I salute you because it's, too, it's really hard to get people who are kind of setting their ways to open their minds up to something new so I salute you for being here but I salute all of you guys for for feeding your mind and that's one of the main purposes of doing one of these morning videos and I hope to join you in your commute maybe to the gym or commute to work so I can give you some gold nuggets to use and implement throughout your day to help pick up some revenue that will thus create that momentum and that confidence that you need to be the best version of yourself. And so before I get into the video, let me share with you um, some information about me. If this is your first time visiting Sales Remastered, I appreciate the time that you're taking and watching this video. Consider subscribing. Look at the links below this video. Visit me on the other channels. If you're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever, whatever social platform you prefer, more than likely I'm there too. So check out the links below. Add me to your stream. I'm guaranteed to give you some information that's going to help you become better than you were the day before. And in terms of the content within this, this video, you know, a lot of the information that I share with you is more about the science of selling. It's more about sales techniques. It's understanding the principles of selling, not necessarily being stuck on a particular process because that process could maybe only be compatible with a specific platform, right? It's kind of like Twitter or it's kind of like Instagram, right? Like you, you only have so many different things that you could do on that particular platform, whereas like Facebook, there's kind of not, not really too many limitations, things like that. So what I want to do is I want to share with you some information that I've observed myself before I do if you haven't had a chance to check out the the sales script that I'm giving out for free you want to check it out because it's really going to help you in 2019 melt objections and take control of the conversation and that's actually what this this uh, video is really more focused on is actually taking more control more control over our destiny and I'm going to share with you something that I've observed because I'm currently in it right now and uh, one of the unique things that you're going to find find at this channel is that I'm not only you know giving content as a as a seasoned sales expert but I'm giving you content that's relevant and current today because I'm currently in sales. I do this art. You know, there's a lot of influencers out there, a lot of uh, channels out there that that are being ran or, or or being done by individuals who no longer are in sales. They they used to sell, 
<laughs> right? Or they maybe have read a lot of sales books, but they're not currently in the trenches with you, going through the grind with you, selling the price and rate and fees that you do. And so we have to use the resources that we understand are relevant and most applicable to us. But at the same time, because I know this applies to your scenery, you have to distinguish what information you're allowing yourself to learn. You see, some of us, including myself, we've learned the wrong way to do things and thus we have to unlearn and then relearn those principles again. And so I'm going to share with you something that I've observed myself. And if you can relate, comment, like the video and, uh, and let me know. Let me know which one you relate to. But as we come in, whether you're brand new, whether you're, you're seasoned veteran in sales or whether you've been licensed for a couple of years or whether you're inside or outside salesman, what rings true is that no matter what, you're going to have influence around you. You're going to have some source of, of information and intel uh, around you to kind of guide you, whether it's information here mixed with some information in your scenery, maybe it's your cubicle mate, or maybe it's your manager, your sales trainer. Um, and, and some of us have different resources, right? Some of us have, you know, uh, uh, sales trainers, but maybe they're not specific or they don't exactly help you. Or some of us don't have sales trainers and we have a manager who doesn't give us any sales advice because the dude hasn't sold or the chick hasn't sold in damn near decades. And so he's giving you some Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross video clips like, bro, I seen Boiler Room. What's I got to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> and so I want to share with you some relevant information, but what I've observed is that the, the, the fact that in current time today, right? Like today is January 9th, 2019. Shout out to my boy. He turns 11 today. And uh, anyway, what, what I, I know is true today is that we will rely on the energy around us to influence us to become better right? More than we do rely on the energy within us to become better. Here, let me give you an example. So as of late, right, the market and going into the new year, compared to just a couple weeks ago, just going into the holidays, it, it went from this kind of the slowdown to just a ramp up, right? You might have noticed it like the, because of the way the markets work, maybe your, your employers drop a couple more uh, lead campaigns. And so you're seeing this different change in in, uh, in 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 traffic and so from it went from slow to ramped up in business now even if you're outside sales agent you'd be like what it's slow no one's buying the house no one's selling their home I want to invite you to understand and really listen to the content within this message because you have the chance to still generate revenue and it may not necessarily be purchased business it could be through your past clients you just really have to put thought to the business that you put together last year how many of those individuals are likely to refinance their loan within the six to 12 month period from buying their home because their property values increase or because they want to take advantage of the new products and programs that are available today. So put some thought to that because I see too many purchase agents who just neglect or, or choose to not actually pay attention to their past clients. And that's, that's your book of business, boo boo. You got to be flipping that book because that keeps money coming in, right? If you continue chasing new business and forgetting about the business that you already have under your nose, you're not necessarily going to reap the benefits and rewards of being a mortgage loan officer. But for those of us who are already on the same page, I want us to understand that when we, whether new or seasoned, come into the new year, we're either going to rely on things that, thing, we're either going to rely on two, one of two things. One, the past or to the, the, the future. Let me give you an example where most seasoned loan officers actually rely on is the past because we become acquainted in a way where through our experiences, we may have gone through the crash, right? Where we may have even gone through, let's say if you didn't even go through the 2018 crash and you're not burnt or hindered or scarred from knowing what it feels like for everything to just stop or everything to just go into a recession. And let's just say you were part of this game in 2015, 2014, 13, 12, or you went through the Brexit and you remember when the market rates dipped so low, like the, T, the, the treasury bill was like under two, right? remember those days? And, and business were just flying. It was coming. It was flying. And you may have went through a period where business slowed down. And so what happens when you're in a fearful state is that you become kind of, you, you, you become more alert. 
And when you become more alert, you start focusing and paying attention to things that may harm you. And so you start looking around and your, your senses naturally do this. You don't understand that they're doing it, but it's kind of like that fight or flight uh, mentality, right? Like that instinct. And so you're looking at things that may put you in danger. And when you see things like a slowdown in business or an increase in rates or loans canceling or funding a fraction of what you're used to funding or income being a fraction of what you used to make, you start to look inward and, and reference your past and be like, man, I've, I've experienced this before. I've gone through this before. Oh yeah, I went through this when the market crashed in 2008 or oh yeah, I went through this when you know the market was really bad. Oh no, it's going to happen again. Oh no, it's going to happen again. And what happens and you don't even realize you're doing it is you'll start enunciating and be making it reality for it to come back again because Again, as human, it's human nature. It's just human instinct for us to uh, to feed into the energy because we're we're naturally problem solvers, right? And so we naturally try to figure out the reason why something's not working. And we could blame the market, or we could blame the economy. We could blame the president. We could blame Sally and Jim for not giving you a call back, or they're never going to want to buy your rates or programs. And we'll latch on to that excuse and and kind of let it be because it's easier that way as opposed to owning up and and opening our eyes to see the newer crowd come in with the enthusiasm that's needed in this that's why they're actually creating more business and so I want to share with every veteran who's watching this video any seasoned people who's watching this video including the newbies because the newbies the new rooks the the newly licensed people even individuals who've been in the game for just a year or two you're gonna rely at some point on the energy of these experienced individuals and sometimes that can taint your current mindset it could harm your exist your your current motive you know motivation your your mental state your being your energy because you're looking at them and sometimes their words may induce fear into your own belief patterns your own belief system because you're thinking that it really is going to happen again like there's going to be another recession like the market is really bad says who says who look at the top producer of your floor ask them the same question they're going to tell you no you know i get some questions in dms uh, from time to time asking me if the market's bad I, every single time I tell them, I, I don't know, I don't pay attention to the market, I just pay attention to my pipeline. And that, I think, is really the key, that's the hack, is you don't pay attention to the energy around you, you don't pay attention to the conversation around you. If you're, if you're there to work just for the base, if you're, if you're there for the benefits, bro, if you're there for that OT clocking and shit, if you're there for the AC, the free direct TV, the internet, like, ooh, they got fast internet here, then boo-boo, go ahead and pay attention to all that chit-chat. Go ahead and hang out by the water cooler and let your energy roll based on the energy of everyone else or even the low producers. But I got some interesting facts for you. If you're not there for the base or the AC or the direct TV or whatever it is, that type of feature that your current employer offers, I want you to understand what you actually have. You have a license to sell money. That's it. And for as long as I've known, money's been a pretty popular thing. People that I know all want money. We all want money. The whole reason why we got licensed is because the uh, because the potential of earning more money, right? So imagine you you sell money, whether you're inside or outside, whether you're a purchase or refi. At the end of the day, you sell money. All you have to do is understand how to become more persuasive for people to buy or use you to get that money. Make sense? And it is the things that stand in front of us that that kind of it. I don't, I don't know, the best word is it disables us from generating more buyers to use us to get that money. And so for the season agents, that's typically their, you know, their downfalls that they go through and it's not you guys' fault, right? Like the only thing you can reference are things that are true to you and because you felt those scars of maybe hitting that low or going through that recession, that's why it's radiating through your energy. But I want you to pay attention to the new people. Now, the newer newer licensed loan officers that are watching this, this is going to ring true to you. I want you to understand that it's actually you. <laughs> 
that helps the most most of these seasoned people just actually spark if they so choose because you have the enthusiasm and you have the vision still you ha- and it's pro- and a lot of times it's because you haven't gone through the grind yet but that's okay we rely on you just as much as you rely on us but at the same time I want to give you some some pe- a real nice piece of advice don't rely on the seasoned people around you to determine your negativity don't rely on their past experiences to determine your future is what I'm saying because really it is up to you and for for having the opportunity that you have today is nothing in comparison to opportunities that we had in 2008 or 2007 or 2006 or just damn near five years ago technology and communications have advanced in such a way where you have Man, you got open rain, boo boo, and and for the vez- for the veterans who are watching this, you also have this opportunity to capitalize on these tech not tech technical advances, right? These the technology, the communication, the advancement of of how consumers get in contact with you. Just like you're consuming this information right now, we didn't have this information a decade ago, barely even five years ago, let alone today. And so now it's easily accessible, but what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take the experience you have because it's it's funny because the balance right like so newer people come in with with so much enthusiasm energy vision and excitement but they don't have the experience yet to fully capitalize on the opportunity whereas the seasoned veterans they they have a ton of experience they know exactly how to what write a loan structure a loan make a loan but they but they don't have the enthusiasm or the energy why it's because it's because the older veterans the seasoned veterans relies on the past whereas whereas the newer agents relies on the future because it's all uphill it's all you know there's there's that saying right there's only one way to go when you're at the bottom and it's up and it's 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 the it's the opportunity it's the dream still and i want the newer agents who are watching this to not let go of that dream because that my friend is going to be what actually rises above but what you have to do is you have to find out the influence and the information that you're absorbing on a daily basis because that is going to give you the experience that you need to climb higher and climb faster you see, if you're leaning on the veterans who are a little bit more on the negative side, what you'll notice is that they point blame. They blame every single thing outside of themselves. They might, they might blame the lead's quality. They might blame the city. They might blame the, the president. They might blame the employer. And when you pick up on that, I need you to de- depart, just distance yourself from that energy. Distance yourself from that group because they're not going to do anything but weigh you down. You have to to really identify the leverage that you have, which is the energy and the vision and the excitement that you have, the enthusiasm that you have right now. Combine it and mix it with the experience that you find here at Sales Remastered, and I promise you, not only will you achieve the goals that you set out for, but you're going to continue raising the bar to push yourself higher. And for the seasoned veterans that are watching this video, I need you to do me one favor. I need you to also rely on to the newer agents and realize the enthusiasm and the excitement and the vision that you too once had. And I promise you, when you take your experience and your, your, your kind of just, I want to say your stripes, your stripes on your belt, and you combine it with the enthusiasm and the energy that you see from this newer crowd, man, are you serious? You're going to fucking dominate the game. Never again will you be like, hey, bro, is the market bad? The market's like 2008. But we'll get the fuck out of here. The market is what you make of it, man. It's all in perception. Do you understand that? Th- that Right? It's kind of like when, uh, like, if you ever watch watch any TV show like uh, like American Idol, right? Or The Voice. I don't really watch TV shows anymore, but I'm trying to use one of these as an example where they're talking in front of hundreds of thousands of people on a stage, right? And the the host, let's just say Ryan Seacrest, that's how long, that's how far back it, it's been since I watched one of these type of TV shows. But Ryan Seacrest gets on stage and he has this persona, this energy, right? Where he could speak to 100,000 people like on stage and not get nervous. He can compose himself. So he entitles himself for the intent, for the the attention but what happens when he pulls up some random person on that stage and then they see all these eyeballs looking at him they kind of fold up right because they're not yet entitled to them because it is their experience you see 
The only reason why Ryan Seacrest can rock the stage like he does is through repetition and practice. But more importantly, it's because he understands that he's the one driving the motherfucking ship. <laughs> he's the driver of that, right? He is the host. Whereas if you come in and foreign land and you're not necessarily used to it, you're going you're gonna to kind of buckle. You're going to get a little nervous. And the whole reason why I bring that up is because the seasoned individuals are is the Ryan Seacrest, right? The newer individuals, the newly licensed MLOs are that new person that Ryan calls up on stage. You kind of want to buckle and, and, and shine down, but you're excited. You got all this adrenaline pumping through you. You want to talk. You want to do all these things, but you don't know. You don't want to make a fool of yourself. And so I need you to understand that you're not making a fool of yourself. Be as confident as fucking Ryan Seacrest because we're all human. Like I breathe, I eat, I shit just like Ryan Seacrest is. So do you too, boo boo. So, so realize that number one. And I hope that this information really, really resonates with you because I'm seeing it too many times. Just this conflict of energy, right? Like I'm seeing newer individuals come in with this enthusiasm, and they're winning. They're winning because they don't know any better. But more importantly, they're they're radiating the confidence. And that they radiate. Basically, the newer people are coming in who radiate the confidence. Like Ryan Seacrest are winning, but the C Season home, the season salesmen who are coming in like that newer person in the crowd because they're scared and they're buckling down based on their experience. They're that newbie on, on, on the stage and they don't know how to act. Right. And that's why they're losing. And so I hope you don't lose anymore. I hope that you take this opportunity to turn things around and really implement the lessons that you learn in this video. If you want to learn a little bit more about me, go to salesremaster.com. Don't forget to request the free sales script. And if you want to work with me personally, I got this program. It's called Sales Boost Camp. Man, whether you're inside, outside sales, uh, whether you're selling refinance or purchase loans, whether you're just brand new, you get an opportunity to work with me, but I'm going to just, just give you a surge of experience experience and information that is going to help catapult you in the direction that you want to go. Again, whether you're a purchase agent, a refinance agent, inside sales, outside sales, that program is for you. Go check it out, salesremaster.com. If you've stayed 20 minutes in this video, I'm going to hook you up. There's a special code that's going to give you a fat discount on that program. That discount code is 54ME. The number five, the number four, M-E. Go check it out right now. There's a link below this video and I'll see you there. Bye.